It's another week and the advocates have their feet firmly on the pedal. Uche will be reminding us to put on the unfashionable truth. That is, if we want to experience true liberty, she says. Chuka warns us that he might sound alarmist, but fear not, it's all in a good cause. Watch out, Chuka, you're fast developing a brand. <laughs> Runke Posh, as I, I like to call her, a newest recruit, drops it like a homegirl. She'll be exclaiming, there's fire on the mountain. <laughs> Libo Libo, AKA Libras, AKA Libby, is back in town from his travels. And what do you know? He's coming bearing tidings of bad roads. Hmm. As for me, I'll be putting us in first gear by calling for the implementation of capital punishment for kidnappers after the break. The other day I heard of a man whose wife and teenage son were kidnapped and a ransom was being demanded. It seemed to be a drawn out process. A ransom was paid and eventually the man's wife and son were killed. Imagine the heartbreak for this man, his only son and wife. Imagine the trauma and anguish. Samson Siasia's mom till today has not been released by the kidnappers despite negotiations and a ransom being paid. In fact, did we not hear that the man who delivered the ransom was himself kidnapped? Wow. Let us not imagine that this elderly woman or any of the numerous people kidnapped will ever be, be the same again, even if they are released. We haven't even begun to speak of the anguish and trauma of their loved ones over the period of their captivity. We now hear of king pins in the kidnapping community. More recently, a colleague of mine was beaten and robbed in what we call a one chance, a bus presenting as public transport, but essentially is manned by robbers. This colleague had her account emptied out in a matter of minutes. What makes these criminals think their survival or welfare is more important than that of others? That they're entitled to take from others what they have earned or possess? It's a culture that's becoming more and more brazen as the days go by. Insecurity ranks top three amongst Nigeria's myriad of problems. For me, it's our number one of the list of problems. As we mark our 59th year of independence, Insecurity is making Nigeria inhospitable for all of us and speaks to a degeneration of society as increasingly money is upheld to the status of a god. This is a state of emergency as far as I'm concerned, a code red matter. Recently, the IGP, Inspector General of Police, said he, we should dialogue with the bandits and he compares their position to that of the Niger Delta militants who were offered amnesty. I say, rather than talk, now is the time when, if found guilty, the state should seek the death penalty, especially where kidnappers are concerned, in order to create an effective deterrent. I remember the shootings at Bar Beach. I don't know if any of you do. Men tied up against poles, blindfolded, and dispatched to the afterlife, ready or not. As harrowing as that is, I believe we need to reinstate such measures. Along with training up a committed security force, to decisively deal with this menace. I would normally not advocate for capital punishment as I believe all human life is valuable and should be treated as such. But on this occasion, it has become apparent to me anyway, that a drastic situation calls for drastic measures. Apart from this, the cancer of kidnapping, killings, banditry in the name of money will consume us all and destroy our nation. We need to cut it off before it's too late. Mm. Yeah. Ex excellent. There's nothing more to say. Yes, I think they should be killed. There's a lot. You know, um, <coughs> there, there are certain things that I think people should be killed for. And when you say life is valuable, yeah, it is. But um, if you don't value your own life, um, I don't see why I should give it unnecessary value. Um, there are things that we can talk to people about so that they can change. But there are things that you really don't deserve to live. And kidnapping, rape, these are <coughs> sorts of things that sorry, I, sorry. I have zero tolerance for. What about the argument? Because when I was reading up there, saying that, is it really a deterrent? You know, do you believe it's a deterrent? That's, that's the area I want. I, 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 I somehow, before, you, before you talk liberals, I, obviously, I, I'm not, I'm not, I can't be scientific about it, right? Mm -hmm. But I believe it will be a deterrent, yes. Uh, how much of a deterrent, I don't know. Um, and 
let's not go into whether it's animalistic you know let's not don't let the the white man you know tell you that rounding people up on bar beach and shooting and making it look like it's a fun thing is an animalistic thing to do because um, as we were saying earlier, it's n when we try their system, we are usually not so good at it. Perhaps we should just keep to our systems and do what we need to do. Shock and awe. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but, but the issue here really is not um, whether you tie kidnappers to stick and kill them. Because in some states, like Anambra states, Edo states and a couple yeah, of other yeah, states, yeah. 12 or 13 states. Mm. Uh, penalties for kidnapping is death. death penalty. Yeah. But how many have yeah, been caught? Of these people have they caught, and even those and I can tell you authoritatively mm. that apart from Governor Shomole, yes, since because once a death sentence is passed, you need the consent of the governor to carry yes. the execution. Yes. Since yes. 1999, yes. no, apart yeah. from Oshomole, no yeah. governor, governor has signed has oh, really? signed yeah, a death warrant. Do you know why? Lagos in 2017, Ambody do you passed the prohibition bill. Do you know him. why? Do you know why? Because some of these, if not all of them, mm. these government officials also are also culpable. Exactly. Because you need to also <laughs> no, look true. at the flip side of it yes. this. Sorry, how do you kidnapping, mean culpable? Please spell it out. Yeah, kidnapping, you know, has become so lucrative now because, one, you hear that the police will tell you no ransom was paid. But at the end of the day, the victim will say, well, we paid ransom. Well, we paid, yeah. And then, you know, in spite of the introduction of um, the BVN, mm -hmm. uh, the SIM card registration, yet these people are not arrested. Mm -hmm. And then we're talking about infrastructures also. Some of these people, why there's no excuse for crime at all? Okay. But some of these people, is the society they found themselves now. If you look at the statistics of people that have lost their job, from 1999 to date, it's alarming. Mm -hmm. And yet, government is not bothered about how do we ensure that we create employment. The employment are created in statistics in the offices and the rest. And so that is why they also feel this. Okay, the culpabilities that yes. part of the problem. So they feel, and then we hide under this Christianity religion that I don't want to soil my hands with blood. Knowing fully well that also they are part of the problem. They are soiling their hands with blood mm -hmm. daily. And some of these boys also, some of them, like we saw in the Niger Delta militancy, they were people that were used and mm -hmm. armed for the election. by, by yeah, the politicians for the election. Yeah. 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 Um, everything Libora said really is pretty much what I was going to say. Um, first and foremost, these um, politicians, a lot of them are be behind these kidnappings. Um, we only That's have not what Libora said, though. Well, he, he, boys he's, are he's saying that. I'll, 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 I'll let me explain quickly. to you. And I saw quickly, you need to create in security also, also, mm. also sometimes to, you know, use security votes. Mm. Yeah, if there is right. no insecurity, you won't you have so much. Well, like like, have like we discovered, um, you know, remember not too long ago when um, the police lost um, four of their yes. very important men. Exactly. Um, you know, because the, the, this particular kidnapper, Wadume, what, what what yes. Kingpin. Yes, and we even discovered that he had been fraternizing and with gave, the APC. There were pictures that, yes, absolutely. Million. So you can see. Not just the party, including the military. Yes, mm. so you can see that they were even Alleged. willing to waste policemen of that caliber so free, to free yes okay <laughs> yeah, the, to free him so you can sort of see that there's now Something look at Evans's case yeah. Evans has been there nobody's doing anything with Evans they've just kept him so in, the trial is ongoing okay it's ongoing adjournment, adjournment. but chances are Evans will probably uh, be freed and we won't hear about it because again when you see that caliber of kidnapping you tend to understand that there's something no, behind but you know it. what you're arguing for you're just basically explaining why it won't work yes well, you haven't, you haven't told me whether you support it. Oh, no, principle. okay, let me tell you. I do support it. I really believe that um, it, it can work. It can be a really strong deterrent. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I also don't believe it will work because of the people behind it okay. and the infrastructural issues that liberals, uh, you know, raise. Um, similar thoughts. It's a good idea. It's mm -hmm. a deterrent. However, implementation, we know how corrupt the system is. Yes. Yeah, because, I mean, when I was reading up, I was surprised how many states had actually adopted this, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said even Ambodé had signed it you, into law. They talk, the, they, they talk the talk, law. talk but the prohibition act. I, 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 I don't believe, for me, I know it won't work. <laughs> it won't work. No, as in it just wouldn't Why happen. Why would it work? Mm. As that is, it won't uh, slow it down. It, won't, yeah. it okay. won't. Even if they were to enforce it. It won't. Okay. Worst case, the worst that will happen. Do you know how many criminals are executed, 
through extrajudicial means. By yeah, that's right. I was just going to say that it's actually happening as, already. Uh, as it, you yeah. know, deter um, people yeah. from, from going into crime. Okay. No, exactly. So you mean when the police so chase after the them? Way yeah. you so can, the way you can deter you. people, you, if you provide the right infrastructures, yeah. like you talked about the policing, yes. provide proper policing, provide the right infrastructure to, for people. Yesterday, I got to my office and I, I needed to put on the generator to be able to work. Mm. I couldn't find my generator key. Okay. You know, so so these are some of the issues. Mm. And you so some the some, sometimes the society, you know, pushes you to a exactly. point where you are frustrated, you don't really care what happens thereafter. Yeah. yeah. You know, so so you that's, know why, that that's why that's why it is not working today, you're not even planning. in states where it is um, mm. it, it, it it's passed. Mm. Okay, yeah. well as they say, hey, when the going gets tough, well, you know the rest. After the break, Uche is set to tell us the tough truth. Isn't that right, Uche? That's right, X. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah? can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's very, a very, very <laughs> terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and Quite frankly, Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.